Welcome back, everybody. Looking at some of the uh, sky cams that we have around the state. Much of Montana looks like the planet Hoth. Uh, here in Browning, we've had some blowing and drifting snow. Winds gusting up to about 45 miles per hour. Doesn't look like the uh, wind is blowing quite as bad as it was a little earlier up around Bowman's Corner Highway 200. McDonald Pass, you can see a little in the way of some snow uh, crossing Highway 12 there in the Continental Divide. Lewistown, pretty night. I uh, love this camera shot here. Clear skies. If you didn't really get to appreciate the full snow moon last night, well, the moon almost full out there tonight. However, some clouds are moving in. You can see those clouds way off to the west over McDonald Pass from our Helena Sky Cam. Temperatures dropping pretty quickly right now. Eight degrees in the capital. Uh, we had lows in the Helena Valley as cold as 20 below this morning. Yeah, another really, really tough morning. Great Falls 13 above. However, a little south southwest wind today and we've got a wind chill of two degrees below zero. Current readings eight below in Haver right now, three below for Glasgow and Glendive, but slightly warmer air did move into the western and central part of the state. What's moving in for tomorrow? Snow. Light snow, though, not talking a winter storm warning. This is a winter weather advisory here. Uh, Fergus County and then just about everybody west of there. Valleys one to about two inches of snow. A couple of isolated spots may get three. The plains mainly one to three inches of snow in the mountains as much as about a half foot, especially right along the Continental Divide. Where's the snow right now? Moving east on Interstate 90. Some snow beginning to move across the Flathead and Bitterroot uh, Valleys here. And uh, that snow is marching off to these pretty quickly here. So uh, maybe right around midnight tonight, Butte America up through the capital, we'll be looking at some of that snow moving in. So taking it to about 1 o'clock tomorrow morning early, uh, there's some of that snow increasing. Clear skies, central eastern Montana temperatures will really be dropping there. Uh, it's really the central western part of the state that will be picking up the snow. It's not a huge snow event, but areas of light snow will continue through the day here on Wednesday and continue Wednesday night, even into Thursday morning before the clouds and the moisture kind of move on out here. We'll likely have clearing skies by uh, this time on Thursday evening. So snowfall amounts here and uh, where you see that shade of gray, about one, two inches of snow and a few spots of white indicating where there may be three or even four inches of snow. So snow forecast here uh, through Thursday morning. Helena area, probably about an inch or two in the valley, maybe three inches in the hills around town. Great Falls, two, three inches. Some of the normally snow or snowier spots south of Great Falls could see as much as four inches of snow. Cup Bank, one, two inches. Same for Lewistown. And the Haver area, maybe about an inch. Forecast for tonight, a little light snow increasing off of the Rocky Mountain front by tomorrow morning. Look at this, though, for Chinook, Harlem, Turner, almost 20 degrees below zero once again here. Another brutally cold night. These lows should not be this cold. Average is about 10 to 15 above zero for the overnight lows, and there's a little of that snow increasing around the capital here at about midnight. Here's the forecast for tomorrow. Low pressure mainly in the western part of the state, so that's where we'll see uh, the majority of the snow. It's light snow. Take it easy on the roads. Temperatures not that terribly cold, but Thursday, here comes another reinforcing shot of some polar air highs going back down into the single digits above zero. A little light snow in the morning, decreasing in the afternoon. Friday starting out very cold. Much of the state maybe below zero again. A sunny day here for Friday. Blowing snow off of the Rocky Mountain front and then Saturday snow increasing by the afternoon and spreading here across the state. These temperatures warm compared to what Sunday will be as the temperatures will drop most of the day on Sunday. Boy, this is about the fourth straight weekend where we've seen the temperatures really fall here through the weekend. Sunday, a cold day with some snow in the morning. Well below zero for the capital Sunday night into Monday morning. And for Great Falls, enjoy that 22 tomorrow and enjoy the 27 on Friday. Highs back down single digits by Sunday into Monday. And how about Sunday night down to 18 below zero? Yeah, soak it up while we can, I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that, Curtis. Sam, what do we got coming up next in sports? Well, Carroll College had not one but two Frontier Conference Players of the Week. I'll tell